Hey everybody, this is Tom. I'm back again with a contest entry video. And this time it's a entry video for Omega Shin Ryu Ken's uh, 500 subscriber contest. Uh, congrats. I always enjoy your videos and you have, um, you know, always picking up uh, interesting and, and great books. And uh, the rules for his contest was basically to show your favorite character and your favorite covers and storylines from that character. And it was tough. I was I was gonna pick, uh, you know, between Amazing Spider-Man or or Batman, uh, Red Sonia, Nova. Um, but I think I, I wanted to go with the, um, Thanos and the Marvel Cosmic Universe. I've always been a big Thanos fan, and um, I have a lot of books with Thanos and a lot of cosmic theme books. And uh, this is a video that I wanted to make before he had his contest so this gave me a reason to do it uh, so what I'm gonna do is just uh, show some books that I have here that are tied into the Marvel cosmic universe um, and uh, quite a few of them have something to do with Thanos so here we go uh, this is a book that uh, I'm not able to afford um, but I was able to get the milestone edition for Iron Man 55 and uh, my copies uh, signed by Jim Starlin Next we have Logan's Run number six. This is uh, an early, uh, I think it's the first solo Thanos story um, in this issue. Avengers 257, first appearance of Nebula uh, for Guardians of the Galaxy tie-in. Iron Man 54, uh, it's the issue before the first appearance of Thanos. But what's key about this is the first appearance of Moondragon, who uh, later becomes a member of the, the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy and is the daughter of Drax the Destroyer. Um, Daredevil 105, it is the origin story of Moondragon, and there is a, a art by Jim Starlin in here. I'm a big fan of Jim Starlin's work with the Cosmic Universe and uh, a Thanos appearance in here as well. Next is Iron Man number 90. Uh, there's a little Thanos uh, cameo in here. The Thanos Quest, book one and two, is one of my uh, favorite storylines leading up to the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, this was good reading for me back when these came out. Speaking of the Infinity Gauntlet, uh, this, I think, is my favorite storyline of all time, um, or one of them. And uh, so we got a couple of issues here. Number one. Number two. I have a couple of copies of number three. And these are all books that I picked up in the quarter bin. I've got to upgrade these because I've lost my original copies that I had. Number four. And number six. Uh, next, the Thanos Rising storyline. This was the most recent, uh, one of the most recent Thanos storylines. And uh, I really enjoyed this storyline as well. It kind of gave him a whole new origin story. Um, so we got number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. That's a great cover. And number five. And we have some Guardians of the Galaxy books. Um, we have number 11 from the 2008 run. And number 12. And the final issue, number 25, which led into the Thanos imperative um, with Thanos on co the cover. This, uh, this story was pretty cool. It was like the resurrection of Thanos. And... Uh, he was kind of pissed off that he was resurrected from the dead. He enjoyed being dead. He wanted to be dead. And uh, he went into like a berserker rage. I have to read that, reread that just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how it went. And just here's a couple of issues of the current Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't have them all in here. Um, number 12. Number All New X Men uh, was that tie in with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Number 24. Guardians of the Galaxy number 13, All New X-Men number 23, 
Incredible Hulk 272. This is the third or fourth appearance of Rocket Raccoon. I have two copies of that. Marvel Age number 25 with Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon number one. This is, uh, of course, some Guardians of the Galaxy tie in. The Free Comic Book Day Rocket Raccoon number one from his new series. That's the variant cover and the regular cover. Free comic book day, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Avengers Assemble with a uh, Thanos storyline. Uh, part of that same storyline. Th and this uh, same thing here. I wonder why um, they didn't put Bug in the... Uh, the new Guardians of the Galaxy, and he's he's in with this team here. Uh, Captain Marvel, number one. And number two, just some more cosmic stuff. Uh, Quasar, number one. And 32, it's the same story, same book, just an error in the numbering. Uh, Adam Warlock, I became a big fan of his during the 90s. Um, when I was reading Silver Surfer, actually, as part of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, and I went out and tried to find as much Adam Warlock as I could. So we have Par Marvel Premiere number one, and these are not in the greatest of shape. Um, Warlock number two, number three, number seven, um, Jack of Hearts. He's a guy in the cosmic universe that I don't think has ever had any run-ins with Thanos. Um, they never appeared, I think, in the same storyline at any time. Uh, at least nothing that I've read. Um, and this is Jack of Hearts' first solo story. Marvel premiere number 44. Uh, some more Adam Warlock with Thanos on the cover, number 10. Jim Starlin work. And more from the Guardians of the Galaxy new series, uh, number one, number two. And this is good reading. I, I really enjoyed reading these. Uh, number three, Gamora, number four, number five, number six, number seven. It's a cool cover. This was my least favorite cover, even though I, I have it up here as a poster. Um, number 8. And number 10. And then some uh, the first team of Guardians of the Galaxy. We have number 5 from Marvel Presents. And number 11. And then just one issue from the 90s, Guardians of the Galaxy, number 12. And then the current issue of Nova, uh, a current issue of Nova, um, which I haven't really been reading. I think this is the only issue I have from that run um, with the Infinity storyline, which I actually didn't really enjoy the Infinity storyline very much. And here we go, Thanos, number one, end of that series. Number two. I was really disappointed. I thought this, I was really looking forward to this when this came out. Number four, number five, and number six. Warlock number one. Of course, my phone's ringing. I'm going to have to probably answer that. Avengers Assemble number seven. Number eight with Thanos. I'm going to have to pause this. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry. Um, I'll have to edit that somehow. So Avengers Assemble number 8. Uh, there was a Thanos uh, series dating a few years back. Um, so we have number 1. Number 2 with Adam Warlock. He had the soul gem on there. Number three. Number four. 
number five, number six, and number eight, number twelve, and uh, out of order number eleven. And uh, this was the free comic book day from uh, two years ago. Uh, a little preview of the Infinity thing that was coming up. Another issue of Warlock. Uh, two issues of number nine. Uh, some more Thanos cover. Um, so we have Warlock, Thanos, Pip the Troll, Gamora. And uh, number 15. Marvel 2-in-1 featuring Thanos and the Avengers and Spider-Man and the Thing. And then uh, Thor's uh, storyline with Thanos, um, with Ramita Jr.'s artwork. Not a big fan. Number 22. Number 21, although this cover is pretty cool. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents had a little go um, Thanos storyline in there. Avengers King Size Annual, number 7. With Thanos. Avengers 125. And then I have some of the Captain Marvels. Um, that started the whole Thanos run. Another great story with the Cosmic Cube I believe. Uh, so number 125. I bought this a long time ago. Uh, 26. 27. This has got some condition issues. These are books I probably won't be able to upgrade either just because they're just really expensive. 28 with some condition issues as well. 29. 31. And 33. Another copy of that Infinity thing. Captain Marvel, number 17, with the Thanos appearance. The Thanos Imperative, we got uh, a one-shot here, number one. Number six of six, Star-Lord and, uh, whoops, and Nova. This was actually a good storyline, number five of six. Four of uh, six, three, number two, and number one. That was good reading. And then uh, this was a one shot of the imperative as well. Infinity Abyss. I um, only have a couple issues of this. Number six. I don't know what number this one is. Number three. Number one. Then we have some Star Lord appearances in Marvel Premiere. Number 61. Number seven. I got a couple copies of that. Number six. And then some Silver Surfers. Uh, number three. Number one, number eight. This is what started it all for me, though, with the whole being into the cosmic thing. Uh, this issue here of Silver Surfer, number 34. And this is what got me into Thanos. Uh, I just really enjoyed reading this. So this is uh, when Thanos came back from the dead. Uh, number 35. 45. 46. 47, number 50, 55, 56, and these were fun reads as well, 57, number 88, Number 
100. Another free comic book day, Rocket Raccoon. And then the Jack of Hearts miniseries. Um, he's one of, like I said, one of my favorite cosmic characters, but I don't think has had any involvement with Thanos. And then the last couple books I wanted to show um, is the first couple appearances of Adam Warlock. So we have here Fantastic Four 66 and 67. And the last book is Thor 165 with uh, when Adam Morlock was known as him. So that's it. Um, thanks for th uh, having the contest. Congratulations again on all your subscribers and keep making all those great videos. And uh, thanks everybody for watching.